incumbent Democratic Party Congressman Don Beyer in Virginia's 8th District boasted about his experience as a diplomat in the Obama administration when he first ran in 2014. And today, he is the only member of Congress who flies a foreign flag outside his office door. Yet anyone who serves in an embassy as a leader should at least know the protocol for flying national flags. Yet apparently, he doesn't. All national flags by protocol must be on poles of equal length, at the same height, and flown to the right of any other subordinate flag. Former Ambassador Don Beyer has voted against every National Defense Authorization Act, but his district enjoys the highest concentration of defense contractors, the Pentagon, two military bases, and Arlington National Cemetery. He defended his former boss, Hillary Clinton, when she left the nation's secrets exposed to great compromise on her personal server at the State Department. But he was the first to demand the denial of a clearance to Jared Kushner in the Trump administration, acting more in partisanship than in statesmanship. He called on his colleagues in Congress to join him in solidarity with the Muslim Brotherhood in the same mosque where the imam went off to join al-Qaeda, the jihad terrorist group that brought down the World Trade Center and killed many who defended the United States and who reside in this district at the Pentagon. In 2018, it would be very nice for Northern Virginia to have a real ambassador in Congress, but just any imbecile creates an undue risk to national security at a time when our nation needs it most. In 2018, the only question you need to ask is, are you for Don Byer or are you for the United States? Stand with us and let's make America safe again. If you want to buy a car, feel free to go to Don Buyer. But if you want to enjoy your luxuries in an America without fear, think again and vote for Major Mike. Futuri is the motto of Washington and Lee University, not unmindful of the future. My name is Major Mike Webb, and I am running for U.S. Congress. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading and 
the hearing of his holy word.